Welcome to part two of developing your serve foundation as a beginner server. And in the first lesson, if you haven't seen that, I encourage you to go back and see that first. And we're now at the stage where we've completed the first half of the serve and we've built the skills of having a meaningful routine, placing the ball, and then getting into a balance or trophy position. And now we're gonna work on the second half of the serve and how the rest of it can just fall into place with a beautiful serve motion. And now that we've established what a good trophy position is and how to place the ball and really complete the first half of the serve, we're gonna start working on the skills that really develop the second half of the serve. So, and that really entails throwing the ball. So the motion of serving is, is a lot like throwing a ball. So we're gonna work on your ball throwing skills. Okay, so what I'd like to do is take your racket, I'm going to take your racket, and put mine down as well, and just have you demonstrate the idea of throwing a ball. Okay, good, let me watch you do that, a few more. Good, excellent. Good. This time what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to feel like you point your elbow to the back fence, get into this type of position, and then throw. So in other words, let it go so you're here, you're swinging it back, get it there and just let it go from there. So it's all, all one motion, nice and fluid, okay? and go, all in one motion. Okay. And when we get back here, it gets back here, and now what I want you to do is I want you to feel like you bend here and then throw, okay? So we want to let this, we want to let the arm collapse in, okay? And just naturally let it go. Keep going. Good. So we're going to add something to that now. We're going to add the other hand. So what I'd like you to do is is extend the left hand in the direction that you're going to throw the ball. And I want you to throw the ball up into the clouds on a 45 degree angle. So it's going to look like this. Okay. Good. Good. There you go. Good. Stretch. And what we want to do is, is get the left side to be the setup to deliver power. So when we get into this position, we're in a much stronger position to create a throw from than if I'm in this position. So I'm trying to get you to use your, your, your upper body and your shoulders here by getting at a nice angle. So let yourself angle back slightly and then rotate and throw. Let's see you do that. There you go, good. Couple more. And what we want the arms to do is actually coordinate with each other so that this is actually the leader and this is the follower, okay? So when I throw the ball and I'm in this position, my left hand is actually gonna move away first and start drawing me around and then my throw is gonna come like that. So the left hand is actually the leader. So we wanna get that left hand to be active. Let's see you try that. <clears throat> okay, one more. Okay, there you go. Obviously there's a lot going on and there's a lot to coordinate and you have to work on it in stages and again, not worry about the ball so much as you're developing the skills. But you've been working on your throwing skills and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a trophy position and we're gonna feel like we have the same throwing sensation with the racket that we had with the ball, okay? So let's see you go from the very, very beginning. So you could do your, your routine, so I'll do it with you. Routine, reset, shift back, trophy, throw. And it can be very, very slow. It doesn't have to be fast at all. The learning speed is quite slow. So let me see you do that on your own. Okay, good. And Try it one more time and commit to staying in motion. Not fast, but staying in motion, okay? Let's see how you do. Okay, 
Good. So now that we have an idea what the motion is like and understand what the balance is, we're going to go to the next stage, and the next stage is contact point. And this is where a lot of beginning players struggle is they don't get good extension on the serve, but you can practice it. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to do the routine, and we're going to go to the trophy, and then we're going to work on the skill of going from the trophy position to the contact point. And we're going to discover where that contact point is, okay? So go ahead and do that again, and I'll adjust your position a little bit here as needed. And go to contact. Good. So contact is going to be more above you. Your head is actually going to be tilted this way so you can see it. This hand is underneath like this. Good. And that's your contact point. Relax this a little bit. There you go. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be extended to the point where it's uncomfortable or stretched too much. It should be comfortable. Right there. Good. Good. So now you can practice that stage. So let's come back down again. And you can just go from here to there. Good. Let me see you do that again. Okay? And start from the beginning, do your whole routine again. And go. Good. A little bit more above you. There you go. There you go. It's not going to be too far in front. It's going to be more above you than that. Okay, good. Good. And now go ahead and do, the, do a rehearsal that completes the whole surf. So make it feel complete. And now you'd go past a complete serve. You'd go past contact and relax and bring it down to the front of you. So it'll go through to the front like that. Okay, try that. Go ahead. And through. Okay. And it'll come to the front naturally. Let it just, yeah, let it come to the front. So it'll, it'll come through and come to the front of you like that. Okay? okay. All right, try that. There you go. Good. And that's your base movement. So the challenge now is being able to place the ball into that movement and not modifying that movement to hit the ball. Okay, and that's where the practice at home, getting in the trophy position and placing the ball is gonna help you be able to let the second half of the serve begin to fall into place. So one of the tools I like to use to develop the serve is what's called the Serve Doctor. And you can pick this up at OnCourtOnCourt.com. And it's a great tool. So if you have a coach you work with or a practice partner, you, this can really help you build your serve. So what the Serve Doctor does is it places the ball so that, in this case, Adriana doesn't have to worry about placing the ball and we can work on the choreography, the skills of her serve. So what you're going to do is, first of all, go ahead and get set up to play your serve. And go ahead and do your routine. And go to your trophy position. And now go to your contact point, nice and slow, and hold on contact. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up a contact point for me. And I'm going to line that up. And now you can come back down, all the way down, and start your serve. Knowing that the ball is there, do an imaginary routine. And you can swing right on through it. Go right through it. You can literally just play the ball right off the string. Here we go. Good. And let that swing just go right through. Okay? And when we're doing this, you can go as slow as you want. And so this time, I'm going to ask you to go really slow and get into your trophy position. And hold. And let's adapt. See how you're leaning back? So this is the point where I can put this down for a moment and I can adjust your, your trophy position a little bit. There you go. And let's get this so it's right up under the ball. Good. And your head's going to go to the inside. Good. This way. Looking good. Okay. And now what I want you to focus on, Adriana, is the left hand pulling away and letting the racket fall and rise. Pull the left hand away and let the racket fall and rise in one motion. Okay. Okay. So let's do it without the ball for a sec. We can add this in later. So when, when you're in that position, the ball's up there like this. I want the left hand to move away and the racket to fall and rise all the way through the ball. So it'll look like that, okay? 
Let's see you do another rehearsal. There you go. Good. Okay. All right. You want to pick it up again? Are you still on, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Okay, you ready? And it's above the left hand. Good, let it go. Yeah. So, so when you swing under the ball at this point, swing all the way through contact. So we're not going to we're not going to stop on contact at this phase in the development. Okay. And swing through. Boom. There you go. That was terrific. So we can see that you're starting to take form on the serve, right? And if I remove the distraction of the ball or the misplaced ball out and just place it for you using this, it allows the movement to start to fall into place and become repeatable. So now it starts to feel like you're repeating the same movement pattern over and over again. So this is a very helpful tool. So if you can get one of these, this will really help, uh, help you during this phase where you're developing the choreography. And then ultimately, of course, the next stage is for you to place the ball and not modify your movement. And as I mentioned, the serve is completely a choreographed movement and the best way to really develop it is actually without the ball. Work on these skills, work on the drills that I provided you and build the serve in stages in the sequence that it occurs. And if you do that, it's like building a wall. You build the first layer, when the layer's solid and in, you go to the second layer, then the third layer. If you try to put the fifth layer in before the third layer's solid, you're not gonna have a solid wall. Same thing on the serve. Try to build each skill in the sequence that it occurs, and then the next sequence will be easier to lay in there. Okay, questions at all? No, a lot of practice. Yeah, a lot of practice, yeah. but it is fun practice. And the great thing about it is that you can do a lot of this at home. The only thing you can't really do at home is probably hit the ball, though theoretically you could in a yard or something, but you can practice a lot of these skills and choreographies and build these movements without even being on a tennis court. So if you're committed, you can develop this pretty fast. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from today's lesson and that you'll take these concepts and drills to the court with you and really develop your serve into a quality shot. And if you're a beginner, be patient, learn these drills in sequence, and you can really develop a professional quality serve in a fairly short amount of time and really have a good time doing it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, turn on your notifications because we're releasing new content every week and we don't want you to miss out on our latest instruction. Thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next lesson.